Welcome to another Master 2 video and I think it's finally been enough time since my last best decks tier list. The game has had finally some meta changes and a ban list. You know, a ban list. <sighs> So I think it's finally time to discuss the notable decks again, so let's get going. So this appears so you can see the whole tier list. And if it wasn't enough time, just pause the video, you lazy fuck. Okay, so sadly ABC is again the first thing in the list here, so let's move on. Adam Ancipator, quite a strong deck, but I wouldn't again say that it's exactly tier 1. I would put it tier 1.5. It exists for a reason, I feel like uh, this tier covers really well some decks and uh, the Massipator is definitely one of them. They're strong, but I wouldn't put them with the best of the best that we're gonna have here. Atignister is a deck that I really love. It's really fun. It's really interesting and I really want to put it at 1.5, but I just can't. It's almost there, but it's definitely a tier 2 for me. You know, they, if they pull off the, the insane boss monster, some decks, if it has enough attack, even some decks with Decal Talker can get over it. So uh, it's literally an auto win sometimes, but still, I think it's, it's almost there, but it isn't quite quite 1.5. I'm gonna put it at tier 2. Uh, Invoker, on the other hand, is just... I mean, we're talking about, like, again, Dogmatic as though invoked. I don't think this even got hit in any way, and it's definitely still 1.5. I mean, it's a, it's a consistent, strong, decent deck. Uh, I wouldn't say exactly tier 1. Uh, by the way, I won't order them in, like, the tier. So, so if I put an Emancipator at, at a higher... 1.5 spot, it, this doesn't mean I'm saying that it's better, uh, you know, I, I'm just not gonna order them this way, but if so, if there is like a huge change, if I think a deck is at the bottom or at the top of the tier, I'll tell you and I'll, and I'll do that, just for visual clarity. Um, <sighs> Outer Geist, man, this deck doesn't wanna die, it's it's like fucking cockroaches, it, it literally, and it kind of fits the deck too, right, it, it doesn't wanna die, but it, it's definitely, I I never seen it in Master Duel, I mean, it's tier 3 for, for me. May, maybe some of you have seen it and have some insane builds. I don't know. Uh, maybe 2.5, but we don't have 2.5. It's, it's gonna be tier 3. Um, Burning Abyss. Burning Abyss, obviously a timeless deck. Obviously doesn't have enough to go 1.5. I'm gonna put it at the lower, you know, tier 2. Uh, it, it is tier 2. I don't think it's tier 3. It's decent, but it really needs something else th th other than Mascarena Beatrice, you know, I mean, this this in today's Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, it's not enough, so uh, I am gonna put it at tier 2, but definitely, you know, they're gonna be better tier 2 decks in the tier 2. Uh, Blue Eyes, last time I put it tier 3, uh, not gonna lie, because a lot of people love the deck, this time I won't be scared of the hate, I'm sorry, I'm gonna put it here and we're gonna continue the video. <laughs> uh, Cyber Dragon, definitely tier 2, I mean, they, they have some really strong things obviously going second you can demolish people with the right hands but also going first you still have infinity so that's still an omni negate you still have a really strong trap cyber dragon is still a really strong and decent deck and uh, i'm definitely gonna put it in tier two next we have the diddy dynamite you know incredible deck if you haven't seen my video about this deck you have to watch it trust me but uh, after the ban list, it definitely goes to tier 3. I mean, it's, it is it is hard copium, but it could still steal games. Uh, I would even maybe think about... It, it probably was tier 2.5, right? But after the ban list, you can't use Trap Trick on the deck since you only have to deny might. might. Uh, but I'm sure some people are gonna be still running, but like you have to be first. If you're not first, you lose. If you get like hand trap to some hand trap that can be used on the deck, you lose. Uh, you know, it is it is hard copium, but I am gonna put it at like tier three, especially after the hit though. If you consider it hard copium, I would I would you know I wouldn't question it, but I'm gonna put it like bottom tier three. Dark magician, it wants to keep company to the boys. It has to go there. A uh, dragonling, I haven't seen like any dragonlings. It it should still be a really decent deck. I feel like it's bottom one one point five one point. But, but, but you know, in the hands of the right player, I'm sure it's a really strong deck. So. It definitely isn't like a tier 2, I just haven't seen it uh, enough. Dragon Mate, I would put it tier 3, but to be honest, I've played uh, against quite a few Dragon Mates, you know, we have a lot of simps in this community. Uh, I would put it like bottom tier 2, okay? Just just don't don't kill me, don't, uh, don't open your Twitters and stuff. Despia, a new addition. Despia, I would put it, you know, it, it does some decent things. 
Uh, it isn't the top of the top, but I am gonna put it 1.5. I, I quite like the deck. It has a really cool artwork, uh, but I don't think it's there yet. Uh, I'm gonna put it, you know, I said it doesn't matter, but you know, I, I, it just looks better this way to me. Uh, but it definitely isn't enough still uh, to reach the tier 1. Maybe there are some incredible builds that I still haven't seen, but it, it might be there, but as of now, I don't think it's gonna be on the level of the other ones. Talking about them, here is Dry Tron. I mean, Ben 10 is at 1, great. This isn't enough. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's Dry Tron. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put it at tier 1, it's still tier 1 to me. A difference though is Eldritch, and finally, I know so many people are happy, they finally hit Eldritch, and the card that destroys a trap is at 1, this is one of their best interruptions, so I think that was quite a good hit, and uh, I will put Eldritch at 1.5, probably at the top of it, I mean it's still Eldritch, can I, can I do it, uh, but I think it definitely took a hit, and especially like uh, with the meta shift, I feel like Eldritch is a bit weaker. Next up, Infinite Truck or whatever this is called, now listen to me, I think this is a very chat deck, it's, it's a very turbo chat deck uh, and I don't obviously think it's quite as strong as some things, but do you know what the power of this deck is, especially against me? I can't be bothered to read their 10 walls of text on each card, so I never know what they do and this is a massive advantage, so I can see myself losing to the cards since I, I won't read that shit. I won't read their archetype that probably has combined more words than the Yu-Gi-Oh rulebook. I'm, I'm not doing it, okay? So I'm gonna put it tier 2 with this power. With this new power, I know there are other people like me. When you see their effect box, you give up on life. You wanna you wanna quit the duel, you don't you don't wanna read that thing, okay? So I understand this is the hidden power of this deck and I and I, it's a chat deck, okay? It, it is a chat deck and I am gonna put it at tier two. Phantom Knights did take a hit with Torn going to two, but I still think you know it's it's really strong. I'm gonna put it here at the you know more top of 1.5. Uh Rongu Bongo is a thing. You know, that's enough, but the deck is still quite strong, so... A prank hits, again, I would put them 1.5, the thing like, is, I, I think, think I put Pac opening here last time, I cannot play a single prank hits, I don't spam duels, but, you know, I play enough duels to see what the decks, and I still don't think I've played probably the worst one and I've forgotten about it. Let's get back to the video. 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 Let's get back to and this is like just fine for them, so I think they're still at the same power. I am gonna put them at 1.5. Now, Sword Soul. I mean, I'm gonna put it at the top of tier 1. It is probably the best deck of the format. It isn't like tier 0 levels or something, but the deck is amazing. I, I love this deck, and you know, I, I play it because I, I've been waiting for this deck since it was teased. You know, like not, not in Master though, since it was teased like it all. I, I love I love the, the artwork, the team, the, I love Synchros, and I've been waiting to play this deck. And yes, I'm glad that it's great, so I can play a really strong deck. Uh, but the reason I play it is because I really like it, and because it's strong. But it is it is the strongest deck, most likely, of the format. But it isn't like that huge of a gap, but it is pretty insane. I mean, if you want to see my uh, combo tutorial and deck list, uh, they're in my channel. And the same goes for Thunder Dragons. Man, I keep seeing it again and again. <sighs> I, I don't play this deck as much, uh, obviously, since I've made other decks, but people keep underestimating Thunder Dragon. Thunder Dragon after Ready Fusion, I've made a video about this, got so much better. The Crystal Wing combo got so much more consistent, deck got so much stronger, and last time I put it at 1.5, so logically, uh, I'm not gonna put it at tier 1, but it's obviously still 1.5, and I think even better. People underestimate this deck, that, that's about it. If you don't play this deck, you don't know the power of putting on the field a Colossus that doesn't allow your, people, your, your opponent to search, that is protected with Titan with Interruption, with Crystal Wing and with, you know, more cards, with, you know, generic hand traps and useful cards to use. It is a really strong deck and I'm putting it at, at 1.5 and it's even better than last time. Zodiac Tri Brigade, yes Fractal is a 2, uh, how much of a hit that is, it, it's a hit to the consistency but the deck's consistency is insane. Uh, so I don't see this being moved last time, I think I put it tier 1. I'm thinking about top tier 1.5 or top tier 1 but considering the other decks, I would put it bottom tier 1. 
I think that's what I what what I will do. One point two one point two five, okay? Bottom tier one, I would put it. Virtual world, honestly, wow wow going to two, I, I don't think is is gonna do almost anything. I mean it's searchable. It's I th still think virtual world is definitely tier one. It's still a really strong deck. I really like the deck and I am gonna put it easily at tier one uh, above this. And uh, the next one we have here is going to be Dinosaurs. Uh, now, Dinosaurs are quite strong and I think I put them tier 2 last time. I am gonna put them top tier 2, like bottom 1.5. I don't think I know enough to judge them completely, but looking at all of the decks at 1.5, I, I do feel better about putting them uh, top tier 2. So I'm gonna do that. Pendulum, I despise Pendulum, let's just put it 1.5 and, and move on. Uh, Sky Striker, honestly, I I think I barely have seen any Sky Striker. And it, it, it is being quite easy. Uh, I, I am feeling top tier too. But it's still Sky Striker, it's still against some decks. And uh, yeah, I feel like bot, like uh, the, the lower half of 1.5 is 5. 1.5 is, is getting lengthy. Red Eyes, you know, honestly, I would put it tier 3 instead of hard copium on these two. It is, it, it does have some, I don't know, maybe I'm. Maybe I'm forgetting some blue eye support. I feel like red eyes has some strong support. Uh, probably thinking about Dragoon though. And Dragoon isn't viable here. So uh, un until, until it's out. Uh, I might have to just put it here. Um, if it's out definitely at least tier 3. But uh, I think this is gonna be is gonna be the move here. Literalisk Tri Brigade. It did take a hit, but honestly, I would just put it again at 1.5 uh, easily. I mean, it still does what it does, so I feel good about putting it in here. It's still quite strong. And lastly, again, we have Zombie Outlitch. And honestly, this deck took way less of a hit uh, than Pure Outlitch because you you know you rely you you have other things like you have the Doom King, you have Zombie World, which is insane against Sword Soul. So I actually feel like putting it at 1.5, and honestly, it might surprisingly perform better than Pure Outlitch against some things, especially against the said Zombie World against Sword Soul. So uh, I am gonna put it at 1.5, and we're gonna see how it turns out this format. So here is the tier list. I know I've definitely missed some decks that you might play. So let me know in the comments what other decks do you like and you think are viable that I should have put in this list. Uh, because honestly, I, I probably forgot or maybe I didn't know uh, that these decks actually perform in this format. So I'm really interested in that. And also in the comments, let me know what you disagree with, uh, what you agree with. Also, if you want to elaborate on something like that and what other Master 2 videos you want to see. We have a Discord server. Link is in the description with my Patreon. And I'm going to miss you till the next one.